All right, hello guys, iGamerVI here, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Queen's Wrath game mode. So not game mode, uh, the Queen's Wrath uh, challenge, which is basically an event where you can get exclusive items from completing bounties from the Queen. So first off, the location is basically you go straight through the gates that were closed before and just go and approach this person here. As you guys can see, there are a lot of exclusive items. Here we have shaders. And we also have emblems, as well as titan armor, well that's for me, and then we also have guns. So to be honest, I don't even find the guns any much better than the ones, other than the fact that there's a color change. Because I do have guns that have higher attack than 224. But, so at the moment, I'm kind of finding this a bit useless, as this is kind of like the Galad B, to be honest, and I have the Galad B as well, so... Other than a color change, you know, I'm not really feeling this event at the moment. But it's definitely, depending on if there really is any extra things about it, then there would be. But anyways, now I'm going to be talking to you guys on how to rank up the reputation for the queen. Uh, the, I've watched a video and someone said, you have to do bounties. I mean, it's obvious you have to do bounties, but I'm going to tell you guys exactly what you have to do. So, as you guys can see, we have five bounties. Ranging from different uh, types of game modes, we have the crucible type of game modes, and then we also have the actual campaign type of game modes. I recommend doing the campaign because those are way easier than doing the other ones. Because getting headshots with a hand cannon is <laughs> isn't hard. I can assure you, guys, I can assure you guys that. But getting defeating bosses and all that other type of stuff and people is much easier. So again, I would range, I go towards the campaign type of bounties and not the actual crucible bounties hope this helped don't forget to leave a like below comment and i'll see you guys in another destiny tutorial so i'm out i am out peace all right hello guys i gamer vi here and today i have an amazing tutorial for you guys and that is how to beat the strike on the moon the level 12 strike the summoning pits and uh basically it's going to be an amazing tip for you guys because